Extreme Foolishness TV here. This is where I talk about extreme foolishness that goes on around you. You know why you're here. Without wasting your time, let's get right into the video. The seven kids by seven baby mama dude. Let's get it! I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always. First of all, let's just get some, I mean, some background stuff going on here. This man said he is openly admitted to be a deadbeat. Pretty much. He has openly admitted to being irresponsible. First of all, he said he doesn't care whether you call him a deadbeat. So when it comes to accountability, I gotta give him a, I gotta give him credit for accountability. Because he has come out to say he doesn't care. He's irresponsible. Pretty much he's saying that he's a dusty. So in the accountability department. Or being accountable as being an irresponsible human being. I'm going to give him some credit. Let's keep going. To uh, these women that I got pregnant. That I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only. Let's break that down. He said the women he gets pregnant. That majority of the time, they will either take an abor uh, do, undergo an abortion or take a plan B. So he has seven kids by seven baby mamas. That's the minority, which means the majority of the time, let's say 20, 30. So he's probably has gotten 20 other women pregnant, 30 other women pregnant. And majority of the time, they will take a plan B or get an abortion. But seven women have chose to keep the baby. Because it's your decision to keep the baby. And first of all, this guy has put his face on social media. You know who he is. Why a woman would choose to be baby mama number four, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, and possibly eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Why a woman would let a, woman, a man like this get her pregnant is beyond me and it's some extreme foolishness. These seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me, access denied, because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. First of all, this man has let it be known. He doesn't want these kids. And I get it. Some women are still going to let Pookie smash and get them pregnant. But if a man, before you guys get intimate, let you know he doesn't want to be a father, doesn't be, he doesn't want kids, and he already has a history of being reckless and irresponsible, how can you now as a woman who has allowed yourself to get pregnant by this man? Knowingly, how can you now blame this man? He has, he's let you know he's in a, an irresponsible person. You've had enough data to make an informed decision. He has let you know all the top, but you still decided to allow him to impregnate you. I mean, it is beyond me, frankly. Well, how, why would we do this? Clearly, you know this man is going to go out there and be reckless. But hey, what do I know? Don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. And I don't give a 
when nobody think about it. You're not going to force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We that is correct. You both made the decision. Both of you are irresponsible. But at some point in time, you got to step up. But what can you do? Even if you take him to child support, this guy most likely doesn't have, uh, doesn't make money through where he can garnish his wages. Or, you know what I'm saying? He probably doesn't make enough money. He probably doesn't care. You can tell he doesn't care. He said he's told the women he doesn't want the babies. He doesn't want the kids. They still are contacting him. He doesn't want to be there financially, emotionally. The most the woman can do, really, is probably force him through the state or through the child support system to get some child support financially. You can't really force him to be there emotionally. You can't even really force him to be there physically. The only remedy you may have is financially, and that's if you can get any money. If he doesn't make that much money, you may get five, ten bucks a month from him. We cannot force him to be there emotionally, physically, spiritually, and just be there because he doesn't want to be a father. He's a deadbeat. And he has let the whole world know. So if you choose and if you choose to pick a deadbeat, a pookie, a, an irresponsible person, that is you have yourself to blame as a woman. Make better choices. Both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because he even let you know his pull-out game is... He ain't got no pull-out game. I was going to say his pull-out game is weak, but he let you know he ain't got no pull-out game. On top of his, he being irresponsible, not wanting to be a father, a, he's a deadbeat. He has a history of not taking care of his kids. He's asking him to get an abortion and plan B's and all that stuff. And he said he got no pull-out game. Even if you don't know... At least now you know. But you're going to still let there and let this man shoot the club up. Oh, I'm not the one that's going to have to carry a baby for nine months. It's You're the right. woman. In my it's opinion, true. women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're going to be like, one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is, these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body and they think. You hear it? The pookies typically do the bare minimum to get those women. But they will now want a responsible guy to jump over hoops, to climb mountain Everest, to get to the coochie. He said he did the bare minimum. He's calling them jump off. He's openly disrespecting this woman. But this are the women. I mean, this is a type of dudes a lot of women choose. The guy. And after they have a baby by this kind of guy, those women typically will become born again virgins. They will now say, oh, I found Jesus. They usually will claim that their religion has made them change. The Sierras of the world. They will start to look for the Russell Wilsons. This is why Russell Wilson is a simp. How do you come after a woman who knowingly gives her womb and her body to a dusty and a pooky and an irresponsible man like this? Why should any man want to take care of the kids that come out of that smashing? This is why responsible men should not take care of of babies by women like this will make the decision to go have a baby by a pookie. To this day, this is the, the Sierras of the world. After they have that baby by a guy like this, he does the bare minimum, he smashes, he gets them pregnant, and they start doing the Sierra prayer. They get on their knees and start doing the Sierra prayer and start saying, Oh, you're gonna wait till your marriage. Before the responsible man get the chicks. Oh, you got to wait till your marriage. I'm a born again virgin. I found the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what they do. And that is some extreme foolishness. I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them. Wait, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? 
Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, He's he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a f You ain't gonna force He takes accountability, though. He's irresponsible. He's a deadbeat. But one thing you cannot say is that this man doesn't take accountability. You cannot say that. He's admitted everything that is wrong with him. The question is, will the women take accountability? These children on me, when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I you cannot. Can't. A woman That's say, right. my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a I really don't. You know they're going to say black man this, black man that. You know the feminists are going to go there and say, oh, it's all black men. Whereas, it's only less than 20% of the black men who are fathering 80% of the babies. But they're going to make it seem like it's an overarching problem within black men. There's not going to be an accountable why. A lot of those women keep choosing these dudes to have a baby by. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Accountability-wise, i got to give this man credit. He's a deadbeat. He's a dusty. He's irresponsible. He's a pookie. He's a rare. But he's accountable to his foolishness. And that is one thing you cannot take away from him. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe to this video. As always, stay safe out there, my lovely people. And most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.